Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope that you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on people doing things and explaining how to do things in Godot so that we can grow the community together. Game Dev Journey Let's start off with some news regarding Godot 4. It's been a long road, but the exciting times are upon us. Thanks to all the excellent contributors and volunteer beta testers, Godot 4 Stable is nearing release. Of course, there are still many improvements to be made, and that's why the first release candidate is out now. It's looking more and more likely that a stable release will be ready for the Game Developers Conference. Now, let's take a look at who's been doing interesting things in the Godot engine recently. If networking and multiplayer activity sounds intimidating to you, then fear no more because Melendev has a fantastic tutorial out explaining how to make a simple server connection in Godot 4. This is going to be a part of his multiplayer platformer series, so make sure to follow along if you want to learn how to do this yourself. Melendev has some nice Godot tutorials as well as devlogs, so please visit the channel to find out more. Quibble is back with another good tutorial. This time you'll learn how to create, manage and load static data in Godot. In this case, the static data is used to manage a list of items and their respective properties. This same system can be used in many other areas though, such as dialogue scripts, skill or stat metadata and many other applications. This is a really helpful tutorial for those who want to learn how file IO works in Godot and how you can use it to make your game so much better. Check out the full video on Quibble's channel. The GD Noob is here with an excellent tutorial explaining how best to use signals in Godot 4. The tutorial is well placed, thorough and detailed. So if you're looking for something that will explain all of the ins and outs of signals in Godot 4, this is a good one to check out. I'm looking forward to more Godot tutorial content from the GD Noob. Dreamwrite Go is back with an awesome tutorial on changes to the project settings, loading splash screens and more in his no fluff, straight to the point style. DWG's Godot tutorials are really good, particularly for those of you who are jumping into Godot 4 right now. He releases tutorials regularly and the quality is spot on. Please support him so that we can keep getting quality content on his channel. Amber hit a thousand subscribers recently and I couldn't be happier for her. I've been following her devlogs for her Godot RPG The Secret Life of Dorian Pink. Well, she has a great video out explaining how she created an advanced JSON dialogue system in Godot and she's planning on releasing this as an open source plugin. Thanks for giving back to the community Amber, I hope that the Godot community will support you too. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.